Now, here in the U.S., Jewish communities across the country are feeling very anxious right now. Law enforcement agencies across the U.S. stepping up patrols of Jewish-owned businesses, houses of worship, and diplomatic buildings, in part because a former Hamas chief has called for protests and for people across the world to deliver a message of anger tomorrow. California's Homeland Security Advisor says they're aware of statements about potential threats, but as of now, there's no credible or specific threat to our state. Jewish communities here in the Bay Area are looking inward at their own faith right now amid shocking violence and incredible grief. More than 1,200 people have been killed in Israel since this conflict began, including children and babies. And as Andrea Nakano reports tonight, an Oakland synagogue is spreading love as a counterweight to the violence across the globe. Rob David Lepkowski leads the Shabbat Oakland congregation. Members have been coming by to light the Shabbat candle as they prepare for a period of rest dedicated to God. Coming together has been one way to cope with the war. We've been through a hard week ever since we heard the news last um, Saturday morning. Um, as soon as it happened, uh, we had people coming here, we had people crying. It was during the holiday. It was very difficult. While the grief has been overwhelming, Rob Lepkowski is urging his congregation to follow the teachings of the Jewish religion. If evil can do so much, can make such a huge effect on people, then good can do even more. Rob Lakowski explains it's more important now than ever to bring positivity into the world. Jewish response is always to double down in, you know, acts of goodness and kindness, in doing mitzvot, doing um, Jewish good deeds, um, you know, laying the tefillin, lighting the Shabbat candles. By doing, by doing mitzvot and by bringing more light into this world, that's what we can do to spiritually fight that, that darkness. Shabbat Oakland is expecting a larger than usual turnout despite Hamas declaring a day of jihad on Friday. We reached out to several local law enforcement agencies and they say they haven't received a specific threat in the Bay Area. We're proud of who we are and I think when something like this happens, more people come out, people don't go to synagogue regularly. They're looking for a sense of community, they want to be with other Jews and they want to show that this won't deter us, so we're going to fight back. <laughs> While Rob Lakowski appreciates the show of solidarity by many in the community to denounce the attacks by Hamas, he encourages everyone to support Israel by spreading kindness, that no one should have to suffer the way they did in southern Israel. The message to people is that um, think for a second that this would be your child being butchered. Think for a moment that, you know, you're just walking out of your house or trying to sleep in your bed. And just we're all human beings and we're all born with, with uh, you know, a piece of God in us. To ensure the congregation's safety, Shabbat Oakland has notified the Oakland Police Department about Friday's events and will have security on hand. Well, the U.S. has faced threats before, like the ones made about tomorrow, Friday. So what is law enforcement doing about it? We asked a retired FBI special agent in charge who told us, this is mostly business as usual for the FBI. When I was a terrorism supervisor, we part of our specific responsibility was Hamas. And any time that there was a, an elevated threat for attacks that Hamas would have coordinated, we certainly paid very close attention to all of our investigations that had anything to do with that sort of profile. It doesn't mean that they're not looking at those, generally speaking, every day anyway, but certainly it gets a more critical eye during this heightened period of awareness. Well, the real difference, Jeff Harp told us, is communication between the feds and local law enforcement so that if there were to arise a credible threat, everyone could be prepared to respond. If you think about state and local law enforcement agencies, they don't really per se investigate terrorism or Hamas-related activities. That's an FBI uh, law enforcement activity on the counterterrorism squads. But they are sharing information across the board. There's no doubt in my mind. 